In this video, we're going to show you how you can add custom time study reports to your company specific time study reporting package. Now, in this example here, you can see I have a, a, a study called custom up here. And what I've done is I've created a custom report down here. You can see in the design, it's pretty basic. Just a labor rate and the activity is going to go here, total time, average time, and the cost will be calculated here. So if I go to the main menu in the custom area and I go to generate reports, I can select my raw data source here. I can then select the report that I'm looking for. This is the one we just designed, custom time study summary. The name here, custom TS summary, parentheses design. The parentheses design that you see in the tab associates the um, design with the reporting package here. So what I'll do is I select the, re the report I want. I select the custom and I just say OK and it will generate it. And then I can enter my labor rate. Let's say we're paying them $12.50 and here and it will put the cost in here for us here. Now, you might expect once you've designed your own custom report here that that would appear in every subsequent uh, study you do. But that's not the case. If I do a new one from here and I'm just going to call this custom two here. And I save it. It's going to change and it's going to here's custom two now. If I go to my generate reports, you'll see that the custom TS summary report is not available to me here. And what's actually happening is we've got a master template behind the scenes that is being presented here to you. And what you have to do is you have to take the custom report design that you've created. So if I bring it back up here, I go back to my custom here. So you can see this report design and we have to place it into that master template. So what I'm going to do now is explain how you do that here. So what you do is you go to your uh, file explorer. You're going to look in your libraries documents folder and you'll find Applied Computer Services. And in here, you'll find Templates. And what you want to do is you're looking for a file called reporting.xlsm. You can see it right here. This is a master template that's used for all your subsequent studies. If you want to add your own custom design here, we want to update this one here, the reporting.xlsm, and then distribute it to any other users who might be using Timer Pro. So they're using the same master template that you're using here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, minimize this for a moment here. So this is the design that we want to copy. We've already created it in our custom XLSM here, area here. So what I want to do is I want to go to Excel. I'm just going to do a file open. And I'm going to go find the one I was look, uh, talking about there. I go to Libraries, Documents, Applied Computer Services, Templates. And I'm going to find reporting.xlsm. And it's going to come up here. And of course, if I go to my generate reports from reporting.xlsm, you don't see the um, custom TS summary here. Now, then I can go and I can say new design and I can start building up just like I would from scratch here. But I'm, I want to bypass that because I've already got it in another area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my custom, which is over here. You can see it right here. I'm going to hit the right mouse button on the, uh, the design that I have here. And I'm going to do a move and copy here. And I'm going to add it to my reporting XLSM. And I'm going to put it at the end here, the same move to the end here. I'm going to create a copy. And that will create a copy inside the reporting. Here's the reporting XLSM. Here's my custom TS summary design right here. Now, so again, so what you can do if you haven't already got it designed, you can go here, you could do a new design and you actually build it up. You can check the video on that, how to create your own reports. Um, but we've already got it in here. Now, if I go here to the main menu and I go to generate reports, I will find if I scroll down, and there it's right there, custom TS summary. So it's available to me here. So then what I want to do is I want to save this reporting XLSM and I save it back where it came from. So I do a file and just do a file save. If I do a save as, I'll just show you where it goes again. It goes into the libraries, documents, applied computer services, templates. And of course, when you save it here, it's going to say it already exists. Do you want to replace it? And I'll say yes here. So then I can close out it. The reporting XLSM is the master template. So if I close this now, and I come back here to my custom one, and I go back here, main menu, I'm going to do a new file. And this time I'm going to create custom three. Let's spell that correct here. Right, and then I click on the save. Give it a couple of seconds, and custom three is going to appear. You can see it right here. But now if I go here and I go to my generate reports, you can see here I have my custom TS summary design. 
right here. Right, so it's now included in the package of reports that are generated from the master template. So the trick again is to update the file called reporting.xlsm that you have inside your libraries, documents, applied computer services, templates folder. Now, in some uh, uh, versions like a XP or maybe even Windows 8, you might have a problem finding it. This folder is actually down under the C. It's in the users folder. This is the actual source of it, and this is consistent. Uh, Microsoft makes it a little difficult. Now, you see users, you're going to go to public, public documents, and here's applied computer services, and there is the templates, and there's exactly the same report that I'm working on here. You can see the date and time, matches up the date and time down here. Right, so we do that. And once you have that, what you'd like to do then is distribute this reporting.xlsm file to all of your users of Timer Pro. So everyone can use that same design as they're putting out their reporting packages from the uh, PDA-based uh, time study here. Uh, now, the key thing is if you do get an update from us, um, we are going to overwrite this file with our standard format. So what I would recommend that you do, once you have your customized design, you want to probably make a copy of it. So I'll just do a copy and I'll just paste it in here. You can call it any name you want. I'm just going to leave it as reporting copy here. And remember, when we give you an update, we're going to put our version back on here, reporting XLSM. You would then want to delete that and then copy this one and call it reporting.xlsm to give you your same custom reports back again. So if you're looking for the video on how to design your own reports, go to the website, go to the play training videos here. Go to the option down here called Summarizing Time and Motion Studies on the PC. Time Study Reports, this first video right here is going to show you how you can design your own reports if you watch that video. So again, it takes seven minutes and 23 seconds to watch that. And then you'll have a customized report that you can call uh, from any of your Timer Pro users.